Welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, let's learn to design a stack with operations on middle element. Here is the problem statement. Apart from the usual push and pop operations on the stack, we also have to implement two other functions to find the middle element as well as to delete the middle element. All these has to be accomplished in O of 1 time complexity, that is, in a constant time. It is not possible to do this with the help of arrays because if you want to delete the middle element of the array, you have to shift half of the elements present in the array by one position. In that scenario, the time will depend upon the length of the array, so it cannot be done in O of 1 complexity. The next choice is to use a linked list. If you want to delete the middle element of the list, that too in O of 1 time complexity, we should be knowing the previous node as well as the next node. Only then it is possible to delete this node instantly, right? So it is important for us to use a doubly linked list to accomplish this O of 1 time complexity. The node of the list contains the data as well as two pointers, one for the previous node and the other for pointing the next node. In the conventional stacks, we usually keep track of the top of the stack with the help of a head pointer. Here, we are also going to keep track of the middle element with the help of a mid pointer. In this example here, since there are odd number of elements in the stack, we can easily say that the middle element is 44. In case you have even number of elements in the stack like this, there will be two middle elements. We are going to consider this right one as the middle element. If you consider this element of the stack, the one on the top of it is considered as previous and the one below it is considered as the next node. So for the head node present on the top, the previous will always be null. In the usual push function that we write, we need to add some extra logic to keep track of the middle element. Initially, the stack will be empty. When you push the first element into the stack, now it is the only element. So this should be made as both the head as well as the middle element. When you push the second element into the stack, the mid pointer has to be updated to point to this new element now. When you push one more element, the mid pointer is already pointing to the middle element here. So there is no necessity to change the mid pointer. So we don't have to update the middle pointer for each and every push operation. We only have to do it for alternative push operations. So we are going to do only when the number of elements is even like this. After pushing, if the number of elements is even, then we shall update the mid pointer. Similarly, for the pop operation, we have to update the mid pointer only during alternative poppings. So the mid pointer is updated only when there are odd number of elements remaining in the stack. Say for example, if we already have 1, 2 and 3 and we are popping this 3 of the stack, then now here the number of elements will be 2. This will be the mid pointer in the previous case and here also it has to be the same. So we don't have to change the mid pointer when the number of elements is even. Whereas here if you do one more popping to make it as 1, now we have to update the mid pointer. So we are going to update the mid pointer only when there are odd number of elements in the updated stack. Find middle function is going to be very straightforward. We already have the mid pointer. We just have to return the data present in the mid pointer. For the delete middle function, you have to consider a few scenarios. If you only have two elements in the stack like this, the mid pointer will be pointing to this element. And when you call delete middle function, this two has to be removed and there will be just one element left in the stack. We should ensure to make this element as both the head as well as mid. Taking this example of 3, 2 and 1, the mid pointer will be pointing to this element 2 here. When you call the delete middle function, this 2 has to be removed. The next pointer of the element 3 will actually be pointing to 2. But since we have to remove 2 now, we should make this next pointer point to 1. Similarly, the previous pointer of the element 1 will be pointing to 2. We should now make that to point to 3. If we do these two things, we will be able to remove 2 from the stack but our job doesn't end here because 2 was the middle element we deleted the middle element itself now we should decide what is the new middle element of the stack so we just have two elements 3 and 1 we should make this as the middle element 3 is actually the previous of 2 so when we have just even number of elements left in the stack like this we always have to make the new middle element as the old middle's previous element. 
Say you already have even number of elements in the stack like this. Now 3 will be the middle element and if you are calling the delete middle function to remove 3, 4, 2 and 1 will be left in the stack and uh, we have to make this 2 as the middle element now. So which means if you have odd number of elements left in the stack like this, you should make the new mid as the previous mid's next element. 2 is the next element of 3 that is why here we are assigning the next element as the new middle. This code is taken from the geeks for geeks article. The node class is going to contain 3 elements, the original data, the previous pointer and next pointer. Stack class contains the head pointer, middle pointer as well as a count to keep track of the number of elements in the stack. Initially in order to create the stack we can call this function to create an object for the stack class and also we are initializing the count to 0 here. In the push function we will be receiving the stack as well as the new data that has to be pushed into the stack. So what we are doing is to first create a node and we know that the node contains three elements data, the previous pointer and next pointer. So we are going to assign all these three values. The data can be got from the argument here. If we have a stack like this and if you are pushing an element, it will always be pushed into the top of the stack, right? We know that on the top of the stack, the previous pointer will always be null because there is nothing prior to it. It only has the next element. Now we should assign the next pointer of this 4 to the element 3. This 3 is nothing but the head of the stack, right? The head of the old stack. So that is why here we are assigning the head of the stack to the next pointer and then we are incrementing the count of the stack by 1 as we are pushing an element. Now we are done with the values of the node but now we should focus on modifying the properties of the stack such as mid and head. We have already updated the count so if the updated count is 1 it means that it is the only element of the stack. We have to make that as the middle element as well. Whatever element that is getting pushed into the stack will always be made as head so we are doing it here. In this scenario when there is just one element we have to make it as the middle element as well. If not see when you have 3, 2 and 1, 3 will be the head of the stack. And we know that the previous pointer of the head will always be null. But now when you push an element on top of it, now this 4 will become the previous element of 3, right? So that is why we are assigning this new node to the previous pointer of head. As we already discussed in the example, the mid pointer has to be changed only when there are even number of elements left in the stack. So this condition here will be true only when the count is odd. So we are negating it to check for even number of elements. Since the node is added on the top, we are making it as head here and that's it with the push function. Coming to the pop function, we cannot pop an element from the stack if it is already empty. So if the count is 0, just display a message. Say if we have 4, 3, 2, 1 in the stack and if we are popping an element from the stack, then this 4 has to be removed which is nothing but the head of the stack, right? So we are saving this head of the stack in a new node in order to handle the things easily. We are saving the data present in that head to an integer variable so that we can return that, return the data that is being popped. Now there are two questions. What is the new head and what is the new middle element? The new head is going to be 3, which is nothing but the next element of 4, right? So that is why we are assigning the next element of the old head as the new head. 3 is now the new head. We know that the previous pointer of the head should always be null. So we are assigning null to that. But we should make sure that there is at least one element in the stack. After popping, if the stack is going to be empty, then we don't have to do this. So here we are checking if there is a head. If so, we are making the previous point of the head as null. We are reducing the stack count. And as discussed in the example, only if there are odd number of elements left in the stack, we are going to change the middle element. Find middle is just a simple function. We just have to return the data present in the middle pointer just by making sure that the stack is not empty. In the delete middle function as well, we should make sure that the stack is not empty before proceeding further. If you take the example of 3, 2, 1, we want to delete the middle element here. So we are first saving that into a new node called mid. We are also saving the data present in that node so that we can return the value of the item that is being deleted. After decrementing, if the count is 1, it means that previously it was 2. So currently the stack is actually pointing to this 2 as head and 
this one is nothing but the next node of head now that we are deleting two there will be just one left in the stack we have to make this as the head as well as the middle element this one is heads next so we are making heads next as the new head we are making that as the middle element as well if the count is not one it means we have more elements we are checking for count greater than zero if you take this example here four is the middle element currently in order to remove four we should change the pointers of the previous and the next element of four like this in order to access this five and three we should make use of mid pointer only five was the previous element of mid similarly 3 is the next element of mid currently the next of 5 is 4 but now we should make it as 3 right so the next of 5 has to be changed next of 5 is nothing but the previous pointer of mid so mid's previous next has to be changed to 3 3 is the next of mid so the next of mid is being assigned to this similarly the previous of 3 is currently 4 but but that has to be changed to 5 right so the previous of 3 has to be changed previous of 3 is nothing but mid's next so we are changing mid's next previous element that has to be changed as 5 5 is nothing but mid's previous so that is what we are assigning here now that we have completely removed 4 from the stack which was the middle element we should now decide on what is going to be the new middle element as we saw in the examples if you are deleting the middle element you should consider both the odd and the even number scenarios if we have odd number of elements left in the stack we have to assign the mid's next as the new mid if we have even number of elements we should make the mid's previous as the new mid finally we are deleting the newly created node and uh, we are returning the value of the deleted item thank you for listening